bowel cancer. It's the UK's fourth commonest cancer and its second commonest cancer killer. And it's the one that I have had myself personally. And actually cases of bowel cancer have been rising in the under 50s. And reasons given for that are having a sedentary lifestyle, not eating enough fiber in your diet and having a diet high in processed meats. But I didn't have any of those and I still got bowel cancer because cancer has lots of different causes and so it's really important that everybody knows the signs and symptoms so that you can be checked out. When it comes to cancer time matters. The earlier that a cancer is diagnosed the more likely it is that it will be at an earlier stage and therefore easier to treat. Signs and symptoms of bowel cancer include a persistent change to your bowel habit. Now, we all have a bowel habit. How often do you go to the toilet to do a poo? It might be three times a day, it might be three times a week. Both of those are normal as long as they are normal for you. But if you have a persistent change that you're going more often than normal or less often, if you have constipation or diarrhea for more than three weeks, that needs to be checked out. If you have any bleeding from your bottom, that might be bleeding on the paper, blood mixed with the toilet water, or blood on the stool, that also needs to be checked out, and if you have abdominal pain for more than three weeks. Other signs of bowel cancer include a feeling of incomplete emptying after you go to the toilet to pass stool that you feel there might be a little bit more left, a lump in the tummy, unexplained weight loss, or extreme fatigue. And if you have any of those symptoms, while it doesn't mean that you automatically have bowel cancer, it does mean that you need to be checked out. Bowel cancer is generally diagnosed on a colonoscopy, where a camera is inserted into the bottom to see the inside of the large intestine. And treatment will be individualized to your case, but tends to involve surgery and may also involve chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and immunotherapy. To try to decrease your risk of developing bowel cancer, we all need to try and keep our bodies active and avoid a sedentary lifestyle. Increase the amount of fruit and veg to increase the amount of fiber in our diets. Try to avoid eating too much processed meat such as bacon and sausages. Stop smoking and decrease that alcohol and try to maintain a healthy weight. But if you have any of those signs and symptoms, please do get checked out by your doctor. Remember, these are generalized health information videos. They are not supposed to replace personalized medical information from your doctor. If you're looking for more health information and news, please check out www.thesun.co.uk forward slash health. And why not check out The Sun's YouTube health channel at The Sun Health.